Thanks for tuning in to another week of the NFL season. We are at week 14. The season is getting slim, like I said last week. We are at week 14. You know, every season, teams fight for positions. Teams fight to get in the playoffs. This is just another episode of the NFL season. It always happens. But I'm not going to talk to y'all long. I'm going to bring you the predictions as well as week 13 prediction recap and my top five performances for the week of 13. So let me break down my recap. All right. Had the Cowboys beating the Seahawks 33 to 17. I didn't think the Seahawks would give a cow, give the Cowboys a game. 41 35, the Cowboys survived. Okay. I had the Titans. Getting beat by the Colts, 24 to 16. The Colts went 38. Well, the Colts went 31 28. I'm sorry. Okay, I had the Falcons beat the Jets 24 to 20. The Falcons win uh, 13 to 8. This was, I don't know if this was a good defensive game or a bad offensive game, but the Falcons, they, they really pulled it off this game. And. Surprisingly, they are fighting for the NFC South title with Tampa Bay. I think it's going to be very tight in that division. Moving on, I had the Saints getting beat down by the Lions. The Lions barely get away with this game. Come back, 33-28 Lions. Had the Broncos, 37-34 over the Texans. The Texans stopped the Broncos hot streak, 22-17. Had the Chargers 38 to 10 over the Patriots, and the Chargers scraped up only two field goals to win six to nothing. Now, I th I thought very highly of the Chargers, but I don't know what happened to this offense. Uh, it's just really shocking that they're really playing this pathetic as an offense. I know it make the defense really tired, but anyway, I'm moving on down. Had the Steelers 28-21 over the Cardinals. Uh, Pickett hurt his ankle, ends his game, and is out. Uh, I don't know how long he's going to be out, but Mitch Trubisky, he was playing as the backup QB for the Steelers. Uh, Cardinals win 24-10. Okay, had the Dolphins beating the Commanders 41-21, well, and I had the Commanders getting beat as well, and they did get beat 45-15. Okay, I had the Buccaneers beating the Panthers 30-16. And the Buccaneers pull it off 21-18. Do any of y'all think the Panthers are going to win another game this season? Who knows? Had the 49ers getting beat by the Eagles 34-27. I didn't think the Eagles will... Show it like they did uh, on week 13 as far as their gameplay. They let the 49ers have their way in Philadelphia. Pathetic and sad for a Super Bowl team that played last year in the Super Bowl. Okay, had my Rams over the Browns 34 to 10, and the Rams pulled it off 36 to 19. Joe Flacco, the quarterback for the Browns for the remainder of the season. Can the Browns make it to the playoffs? Can we make it to the playoffs? Can the Rams make it to the playoffs? Had the Chiefs 34 13 over the Packers, and the Packers shocked the world 27 19 over the Chiefs. Looked like these Chiefs might be. Falling down might be going the opposite direction. Will Pat Mahomes stay in Kansas City? Who knows? All right, Monday night had the Jaguars beating down the Bengals 36 to 17, but the Bengals survived in overtime 34 31. Okay, week 14 had the Patriots 17 14 over the Steelers. I have the Texans 27 14 over the Jets. The Rams 30-27 over the Ravens, my upset special. I have the Saints 30-14 over the Panthers. I have the Colts 31-21 over the Bengals. I have the Falcons 27-24 over the Buccaneers. 
battle for the NFC South. Have the Jaguars getting beat. Trevor Lawrence hurt his ankle in week 13, but he might be back. Who knows? Browns 21-13 over the Jaguars. I still have them beating the Jaguars if Trevor Lawrence returns or not. 49ers beating down the Seahawks 40-16. Vikings 19-10 over the Raiders. I have the Chargers 21-10 over the Broncos. Bills losing to the Chiefs 30-23. I have the Cowboys over the Eagles 28-21. In the Monday night doubleheader, I have the Packers 27-10 over the Giants. And I have the Dolphins 46-21 over the Titans. Okay, top five performers for the week of 13. I have Jay Bates, the third, five tackles, two assists, and one interception for the Atlanta Falcons win over the Jets. Jake Brown, 32 for 37, 354 yards for one touchdown. And my boy for the Rams, Puka Nakua, four receptions for 105 yards for one touchdown and the victory and the victory over the Cleveland Browns. Derrick Henry, 21 carries for 102 yards and two touchdowns. And Jordan Love and the win over the Chiefs went 25 for 36, threw for 267 yards for three touchdowns. And I am about to be up out of here. Make sure you catch me possibly Friday or Saturday. We're going to be bringing the Saturday games as well as the Sunday games. Every end of the NFL, NFL season that I knew of since I was born, they always had a few Saturday games in the slots. So make sure you join me. I will be here Saturday for sure with those three games. That's on the schedule, and I will be returning Sunday as well. And I will be bringing my top 10 MVP as well. So tune in, and I hope you all have a good night.